BNP Paribas Real Estate, formerly known as Atis Rail, is a European commercial property consultancy company and subsidiary of BNP Paribas with around 2,600 employees in 51 different cities. The company offers a variety of services ranging from property management, development, transactions, consulting services, and investment management across a wide range of commercial real estate asset types. Their mission is to use each of their business lines to develop solutions to foresee environmental changes and respond to evolving client needs, whether they be investors or private companies, as well as institutions. In doing so, BNP plays a key role in urban transformation and puts social corporate responsibility at the heart of their business. The four pillars and 12 commitments of their corporate social responsibility strategy are economic responsibility, environmental responsibility, social responsibility, and civic responsibility. To build innovative product and service offers along with our clients and partners in an ethical and responsible manner. To reduce the environmental impact of our real estate activities and to make environmental quality a lever of tangible and intangible performance improvement. For example, invest in LEED certified buildings. To value the development and commitment of all our employees, no matter what. To be a committed real estate sector player and to support local initiatives wherever those buildings might be. Real estate is reinventing itself to model a sustainable city, becoming sober, more innovative, more humane, more solidarity. Using a smart grid connecting offices and housing, having a car sharing solution for non-thermal vehicles, having terraces for urban farming in their buildings, having wooden buildings with a low carbon footprint, having a variety of flora that helps with local pollution and has a positive impact on biodiversity where that building might be located. Real estate is a financial service sector, but it's important to understand that the stakeholders extend beyond company CEOs and financial shareholders and those who bought stock in the company. The shareholders of companies that adhere to corporate social responsibility guidelines like BNP Paribas include the communities and the urban centers in which these properties are located. And that's why it's so important to this company that they build them greenly and sustainably. Speaking directly from a Forbes article about how real estate is spearheading corporate social responsibility in the corporate world, a direct quote is that it is not simply the financial savings or shareholder benefit that should drive development, but the long-term value created in establishing community sustainability and community prosperity. This is the greatest driver of long-term wealth creation and return on investment in real estate, but shifting this paradigm takes time which is perhaps the entire rationale behind speeding up the process with an incentive-based program like Opportunity Zones, that of which BNP Paribas builds in. Now, I know this isn't a real estate class, but just really quickly, this is an important aspect of corporate social responsibility in the real estate sector. An Opportunity Zone is a designation created by the Tax Cuts and Job Acts of 2017. And what it does is it allows for certain investments in lower income areas to have tax advantages in order to encourage developers to develop in those areas that they otherwise would have potentially looked over. It's very important and it's a big driver of corporate social responsibility and sustainable development. BNB Paribas uses their sustainable procurement charter as well as business ethics and codes of conduct according to the particular country they are developing in. As a multinational company, they meet the requirements of the specific country they are doing business in in order to comply with that country's corporate social responsibility regulations. BNP has a non-lobbying, anti-corruption policy and works tirelessly to adhere to CSR guidelines and be a better corporation. In addition to these pillars, in 2015, the United Nations adopted seven sustainable development goals. This is a global call to eradicate poverty, inequality, and justice and protect the planet and ensure that human beings live in peace and prosperity by 2030. 
BNP finds this very important and put it in their sustainable development charter. September 2014, in order to make sure that BNP Paribas adhered to their own corporate social responsibility guidelines, they created the Leaders for Real Estate. It serves as a talent development program and also a watchdog program that makes sure that the company stays in line with their own goals. Using their own evaluation metrics on themselves is a very important tactic that BNB Paribas has adopted in order to monitor and maintain their corporate social responsibility rather than hiring out a third party. Overall goal of developing a clear business case for incorporating life cycle thinking into a real estate sector is to possibly eliminate the disconnect that occurs during project turnover points in the value chain of constructing a building. Whether it's the real estate developer passing over requirements to a design team or an architect, or the design team or architect handing over architectural plans then to contractors, there seems to often be a disconnect due to differing priorities and incentives when it comes to the construction of that building. The more socially responsible goal of real estate firms is to then bridge the gap between various players along the real estate value chain by creating the business case for environmental indicators and establishing a common language to be used by all stakeholders on the project. BNP is one of the many real estate firms that is leaving the charge when it comes to the actual change in this category. I don't believe they are greenwashing and I have observed not only the research I've done for this project, but also during my brief stint as an intern at this firm, that they are committed to changing the way that buildings are built and invested in for a better future for our people and our cities. I also have always believed that real estate is one of the most socially responsible in terms of sustainability. Think about it. The life cycle of buildings is far longer than any other product on the market, even cars. Think about all the houses we live in, apartments we've rented, buildings we've come to class in, or skyscrapers we've interned or worked in. Those structures are expensive to build, no doubt, and the process of building them is not always the fairest or the most green for the environment or the workers. But the buildings do have the longest life cycle of anything on the market, and unless there's some sort of natural disaster, those buildings are pretty much there to stay. Also, BNP is not alone in this commitment of the four pillars for a better, more sustainable urban environment to develop buildings in. Other huge developers like Related or Xtel have joined the charge and pledged similarly. Real estate development is also a really responsible industry without even realizing it sometimes. In order for big name developers and investors to get their way with city planners, they often have to make these trade-off deals that usually include them getting more air rights to build higher in exchange for the developer planting 10 trees on a city block or donating money to build an urban city garden or plaza. That's why if you walk around Midtown Manhattan, you see a lot of these like mini parks or plazas. And that's also why the 7 train got extended all the way to Hudson Yards. It was a deal that Related made with the city. Before this class, I never even dabbled in the term corporate social responsibility as a phrase. And now it's kind of all I think about when I think about the companies I've worked for and the fact that I'm graduating and about to start a job and especially with what's going on in the world today. And I think now more than ever, I'd like to see um, the industry I'm passionate about. So real estate developers lead the charge more um, on a social aspect with increased levels of diversity and inclusion in the workplace. I'd like to see more women developers. That would be awesome. I'd like to also see more developers of color. And I'd also like to read more about, you know, about that. There's very limited research about the social aspect in real estate development as far as corporate social responsibility. Um, so below this video, firstly, if you have any questions, feel free to reply to me on the forum or the YouTube comments. And then in the link, I'm gonna leave BNP Sustainable Procurement Charter, which is worth a read. It explains just everything I explained in the video, but in more detail with fun pictures and as well as a YouTube link that explains their urban garden project, which is really cool and also worth giving a watch. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And again, um, reply with any comments or questions.